Hello and welcome back to another episode of Vanilla Minecraft. Obviously, I made it home. I did not die. And one important thing we achieved by coming home is over here. Obviously, planted trees. But we have our tree farm. And it works. Now, like last episode, this uh, observer killer. Stop it going multiple times and creating a clock. Now, redstone's all the same, except added an extra line to connect here. Still don't know why it didn't work the way it should have. But this is our redstone signal tree grows, this gets a redstone signal, and it works. Now, as you can see, it double pulses because the redstone signal from the leaf block sends a pulse each time the wood passes it. So, the wood growing sends a pulse, the wood being sent back, and this wood and everything. So, yeah. It works lovely. And there we go. Double pulse. And yeah. Nice, snazzy little tree farm. Using a bit high techy redstone. Ran through a jungle on the edge of the mangrove bit. Got some of that. So now we got brown doy. Or brown dye. It's pretty much all cocoa beans are for. Now. Haven't done anything with these guys. As you can see. But. We have a reason to pull this lever. And watch it all come flying. Now. I do need to. Invest in a bit more glass to get that. And it goes back. As you can see, it's slowly coming down, down, down. No way to speed that up. That's purely Minecraft water mechanics. And it disappears. Now we just grab the stuff. Obviously, most of this layer is getting put in. Now, I'll restock our tower and then be right back. Okay, I grabbed the wheat, turned it into bread. And that is because I built this structure. Which houses two of the most annoying creatures in Minecraft. That being villagers. Now, I had a lot of trouble with these villagers. I did have glass on here, but they didn't like that. I had the beds in different areas. They didn't like that. The only way I got it to work was when... Not this guy. Because I have tested this. It does work. Didn't want to sleep in his bed, he wanted to sleep in the other guy's bed and refused to sleep in his own. I was on the verge of killing them. But I refrained from doing so. Okay, that should have been enough bread, but we'll throw some more in. Pick it up. See? This is why I hate villagers. They just keep looking at me, not doing what they should, and I just fell in. Well, that's going to be a bother. Take the bread. This to stop the lightning from electrocuting them from where I had them 
that was spawning in the middle. But uh, doesn't help us anymore because I had to let them run free. Now, hopefully they should breed. There should be a little baby by the end of the episode. The rest of what we are going to do is a cobblestone generator that should be pretty much lag busting. I think I'll build around here actually. Ah, they took three bits of bread. And it's about night time, so I'll go sleep it out and then we'll build the cobblestone generator. Okay, we're back in our hole. Now, crafting tables, burn, but catch fire, but do not burn. I think we shall have here as the cobblestone. So, that's where the cobblestone's going to create. Lava, water, water, lava. Doesn't matter which side. You can make a stone one, but I don't have the tools for stone. The term silk touch stone, so... It is rather pointless for me to make a stone one at this time. I may make one in the future. Now... We will want to change this out because grass catches fire. So, it won't spread or anything. It will just look a bit wild. Now another one of that and if I have done this correctly which I should have hmm, I'll build one higher just for my own personal sake you don't need to I mean do I need four more yeah you don't need to but this will stop lag ever causing it an issue because the source will be here and here now we want to add a cobblestone or a dirt this side so it doesn't go flying everywhere lava water what lovely sources now we should break and it formed over there of course it did okay it wants to be funny but we ain't done so it can play silly abilities all it wants okay place that there we need to go on the other side of this thing which be easier said than done at the moment. Mine our way over. Can get rid of that one. Now. We can. Break that. It's going to play silly. Well, it's not going to do nothing because that was already cobblestone. Now, place a temp block back here somewhere. That'll do. Piston. Now, place our pretend cobblestone there. And we want to get back on the other side. For, see? It'll catch fire. Don't worry. That's cool. Now we want to do the rich dune, which is just a simple clock, which I may or may not have all the resources for it at this moment, but it should just take a couple of repeaters if I do it correctly. Put the torch back so we don't get mobs. Now, repeater, repeater. Uh, redstone we can delay it as little or much as we want as you can see nice little clock 
Now, put that there. Connect that up. And uh, I built the clock the wrong way, didn't I? Oh well. We'll just switch this round and pretend that never happened. Blick and quick pops. Now if we go over the tip, which we'll just go like this. As you can see, it's pushed it out. Now we need to make the cobblestone here disappear. And that piston's going to make it a difficult job. Okay, we'll go from underneath. Okay. I'll turn the piston off and we'll try to make it do what we want. Okay, I tweaked with it a bit and because the water wanted to update quicker than the lava, we just shifted it over one. No big deal. It's just not in the middle of everything. I really don't care about that. And as you can see, as we mine, it's creating more. And depending on lag and updates and all that blah blah blah, we're actually getting stone now. So it actually benefits us greatly that it didn't want to work properly. So now we have a stone generator. Now, how are we getting the stones to the cobblestone? The lava is going over the water. So the water's come down here, going across, sitting in this block space for a split second. Excuse me. And the lava is sitting on top, block updates, and we get stone. And it doesn't matter how much lag, if it lags out, the piston will stick its head out and block the lava from going down, the water from going across. So this lava source, this water source will never be mixed unless you hit, if I can say that properly, unless you hit or break this block, they will not be ruined. Then as you can see, it's still ticking away, but it's hit the 12 block max. And all you need is efficiency three and an iron pick, maybe a diamond, but I'm pretty sure iron pick. And you can pretty much sit here and just go and you can just auto clicker it or whatever you want. Flick it off, it's gonna just lock it. But when we break it, it won't create another one and it won't ruin the farm either. As I said, the piston actually stops the farm from being broken. If we break this, we'll see the piston arm. Now we'll break this and see the piston arm. See? Lava's still up there, that's still there. I'll flick it on just to show that that is true. Now, one thing you gotta do is turn that off. It'll create a stone. Make sure the lever's off. Give it another pulse. Come on. There we go. Depending on the up block update, depends on how quick it is. Obviously, if you're gonna lag or anything, it might take a bit longer. But, as I said, it does not matter if you have lag or not, because the piston will stick its head in, stop everything from messing up. As you can see, we now have 12 stone again. I don't know why I wanted to try to go again, but I might have just been an audio glitch, actually. Because there's no way for that piston to move anymore. There's 12. Now, we won't see a baby villager because they threw the bread back to us. Because villagers are silly. But that is a technical tree farm.
a stone generator instead of cobblestone. And both can't be beaten by lag. So it's a lag busting episode. I want to kill my villagers. But I can't. Not yet. Bye bye.